from the Bob Mills Weather Center, meteorologist Aaron Reeves. Well, it's the weekend and football is back along with all the other stuff going on. We got perfect weather down in Fort Worth for the OU game. Warm, sunny, nice in Waco for OSU and Baylor. And then really nice, very perfect conditions here in Tulsa. It's the Golden Hurricane take on Cincinnati. So really good weather for those games. Also, Arkansas uh, is uh, hosting the Crimson Tide. Uh, that should be an interesting game. Weather will be good for that if that's the game you're going to. So pretty good weather there this evening. Friday night football, all of our local games that are going on tonight. Several occurred last night, interestingly enough, but all the games tonight really good. Of course, our game of the week here, Uliga and Wagner. It's going to be a great evening for football. Tulsa State Fair, great afternoon, great evening for that as well. Lots of sunshine, very comfortable temperatures, not much in the way of any humidity. It's, it's really, really good. Then Coffeeville Dalton Defenders Day is going on. Temperatures in the 80s this evening, and as we head into uh, tomorrow, we'll see those temperatures back in the low 80s. So all in all, some really good weather coming up. Uh, that's just a few of the events. There's a lot more than that. So whatever you have going on, weather's looking good. One thing that's not looking good is our rainfall situation. We've over the past two weeks really not seen anything in rainfall at all. Uh, the big winter, two tents in Ponca City, and that, I mean, that's basically nothing, especially as dry as we've been. It looks like this September statewide is going to end up being the fifth driest September on record, and that, that's not... No, it's not the kind of record you want to be breaking. Four acre now up to 61 days with uh, no more than a quarter inch of rain or really not even getting a quarter inch of rain. Most locations closing in on 30 days. Same story down south. A bit worse than a few areas. You've fallen out 32 days since seeing at least a quarter of an inch of rain. So once again, things are really bad. Fire risk is going to be pretty elevated until things change. It's dry as vegetation and the air is and warmest temperatures are. Drought conditions are uh, really bad across the area, and I don't have any hope for really any rain anytime soon. High pressure keeping any of that well up and around us. We're under the ridge, which means we're under a whole lot of nothing as far as rain goes. Ian now back onto the landfall, uh, now just uh, to the northeast of Charleston there, causing issues, 85 mile per hour winds, category one, that's gonna lead to a lot of flooding as it treks northward over the next couple of days. Across our neck of the woods, nothing we're all quiet not much going on Tulsa looking uh, pretty good here this area of streets is flowing right along 71 feels like 70 dew point at 40 very very comfortable air outside currently 70s for most of us now up to 79 in Tahlequah this dry air really warms up efficiently efficiently once we get the sunshine 70s to around 80 this afternoon absolutely beautiful outside going into tonight another cool night uh, as we drop back down into the 40s to around 50 degrees and then just a couple of degrees warmer as we head into tomorrow afternoon maybe a high cloud here or there filtering through that would be about it temperatures going forward staying generally in the 80s warming up a bit before another boundary moves through late next week just past this about next friday we could see highs only around 70 maybe cooler uh, so that's interesting. And then as we uh, look at rainfall, just a slight chance on Wednesday, that's about it. And then going beyond that second week of October, looking to stay drier than normal and the way things are looking right now to be warmer than normal. Uh, so we're just going to kind of keep this going. Here's a look at your extended forecast. 80s, pretty uh, standard the next seven days or so. Not much in the way of rain chances other than an isolated shower on Wednesday. Lows in the 50s. Overall, pretty nice weather. We just really, once again, need that rain.